You boys aren't going to that old Francais house, are you? If you think this movie looks a tad like an Okanagan version of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, you could be right. Steve Burlow came up with his idea for first annual barbecue, shot in Rock Creek, after watching the remake of the classic slasher flick about 10 years ago. Gene. Yeah. Just be careful. Yeah, remember what that old guy said. I left that movie feeling a little bit dissatisfied because I was such a fan of the original. And I started thinking of ways how I would have done it if I was remaking it. And eventually, I, you know, I figured, well, you can't do another remake to a remake sort of thing. So the idea was first annual barbecue could be almost like a prequel. If I was going to make my film, I'd have to change stuff so that I wouldn't get in, into any legal troubles. Yes, I know a lot of people probably look at it and say, boy, that's a big Texas Chainsaw Massacre ripoff, but, you know, I've definitely put my own feel to it, and I think there's definitely some very scary stuff in it. Ugly and dirty, I try to keep myself clean for you, but I only succeed in smearing the filth. Mine would be more of a dark drama. Not, there's nothing really horrific in it. It's more about a personal struggle and, and some dark thoughts and behaviors. Like Burlow, Froze came up with the idea for his so film, Be Holy, a long time ago. In his case, 20 years prior. And at the time, I was going through a very uh, dark period, I suppose, where I was struggling with my perception of truth and the the, the actual truth that was being presented to me. And so um, I found these two views very different. You know, I've always been intrigued by the story, the old 14th century poem from Dante's Inferno, uh, The Divine Comedy. And I just thought it'd be neat to see what it would be like adapted to our time. It's basically a modern adaptation of that. For some of these filmmakers, this is their first jump into the film biz. Horror Fest is a great venue to showcase their talents and twisted minds. Horror Fest is, first of all, just a lot of fun. I've been involved with Horror Fest the last few years as an actor Life, in other so people's powerful, films. So pure, and so uh, it's, it's fantastic that there's a, there's a venue, there's a place where, you know, people with little to no experience can get a hold of a camera and actually succeed put something together. I think that anything that gets the community involved and uh, explores the arts a lot more is, a, is something that uh, is great and you know everybody loves horror I think so <laughs> I think this will be a great event. Horror Fest goes Friday evening at the Habitat. Doors open at 8 o'clock and you are encouraged to come in costume. For more details check out the website for the Okanagan Society of Independent Filmmaking.